my journey is basically how to train myself to listen. And the course I did trained me how to do that. And I find that uh, the greatest revelations I get from God now is uh, uh, zipping my mouth and just listening to him. And I walk away, feel blessed and encouraged. I'm going, I know who I am and I know where I'm going. And the people whom I'm coaching know the same as well. Yeah. So tell me a little bit about that because I haven't done the course that you've done. Um, but can you think of two mm. things that were two things that were Andrew were most helpful for you to help you be a better listener? Uh, this is very unspiritual. I'm about to say, but I think it works. And that is um, when you've got a, a lecturer who gets to know you well. In my case, uh, Professor Lynn, who's now become a personal friend. She has been blessed with a couple of words, Andrew, shut up. Uh, and I think that's one of the key things that helped me. Uh, and I, and I, and she'll say, she'll start coaching you to the point. Why do you always have to have the last say, Andrew? Do you think you know why? During the questions in my coaching sessions in class, I started learning things about myself that I always had to have the last say. I always had to interrupt. And, um, and so the best way to learn is to be coached yourself. It's hard to teach coaching, but to be coached first, then you have a far greater appreciation and understanding. And so, uh, I would say listening to myself when I was speaking and listen to the instructions that were given, learn to listen. Mm -hmm. 